Texas is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, thank you. I rise to offer an amendment which addresses another misguided and restrictive federal regulation. Section 526 of the Energy Independence and Security Act prevents federal agencies from entering into contracts for the procurement of a fuel unless its life cycle greenhouse gas emissions are less than or equal to emissions from an equivalent conventional fuel produced from conventional petroleum sources. In summary, my amendment would stop the government from enforcing this ban on all federal agencies funded by the Milcon VA bill. The initial purpose of Section 526 was to stifle the Defense Department's plans to buy and develop coal-based or coal-to-fuel, co excuse me, coal-to-liquids jet fuel. This restriction was based on the opi opinion of some environmentalists that coal-based jet fuel might produce more greenhouse gas emissions than traditional petroleum. We must ensure that our military has adequate fuel resources and that it can efficiently re rely on domestic and more stable sources of fuel. But unfortunately, Section 526's ban on, ban on fuel choice now affects all federal agencies, not just the Defense Department. This is why I'm offering this amendment again today to the Milcon VA appropriations bills. Federal agencies should not be burdened with wasting their time studying fuel restrictions when there is a simple fix and that's to not restrict their fuel choices based on extreme environmental views, policies, and misguided regulations like Section 526. With increasing competition for energy and fuel resources and the continued volatility and instability in the Middle East, it is now more important than ever for our country to become more energy independent and to further develop and produce our domestic energy resources. Placing limits on federal agencies' fuel resources is an unacceptable precedent to set in regard to America's energy policy and independence and our national security. Mr. Chair, Section 526 makes our nation more dependent on Middle East oil. Stopping the impact of Section 526 will help us to promote American energy, improve the American economy, and create American jobs. Let's remember the following facts about Section 526. It increases our reliance on Middle Eastern oil. It hurts our military readiness our national security, and our energy security. It also prevents the potential increased use of, from so, of some sources of safe, clean, and efficient American oil and gas. It increases the cost of American food and energy. It hurts American jobs and the American economy. And last but certainly not least, it costs our taxpayers more of their hard-earned dollars. In some circles, there is a misconception that my amendment somehow prevents the federal government and the military from being able to, to produce and use alternative fuels. But, Mr. Chairman, this viewpoint is categorically false. All my amendment does is to allow the purchasers of these fuels to acquire the fuels that best and most efficiently meet their needs. I offered a similar amendment to the CGS Appropriations Bill, and it passed with strong bipartisan support. My friend, Mr. Conaway, also had language added to the Defense Authorization Bill to exempt the Defense Department from this burdensome regulation. I urge my colleagues to support passage of this common-sense amendment. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields.